Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Xenovision. Today we're going to talk about the Crank Miner. I just received mine today. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can install it and set it up so you can be up and running. It's a bit different than uh, other miners because this is this Crank Miner will be uh, a, a normal helium miner that you will be sent and you will need to change some settings through your internet port and your computer or your phone so check it out it is for some people maybe difficult and i will explain you and guide you through this way before we get started i just want to inform you this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only if you find any value in this video which you will please smash the like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel so let's get started so yeah this is the miner this is how it comes uh, the antenna you can just place it on and twist it so that's very easy I think it's useless for me to show you how that works and then you have two screws on the back that you can unscrew that's right here so right here I've unscrewed them as you can see this is the back plate you can just unscrew them and then you get a uh, Ethernet port you can just plug that uh, in your network switch or or in your router that's what I have done you can also just directly directly plug it in your PC but then later on you would have to plug it in your router again and it comes with a power supply so that's the first steps just uh, connect it to your router with the internet port or your network switch I have done my network switch but the router is the same and plug in the power first first what you will do of course is uh, putting the antenna then the rest of the cables and then the first lamp that will go on is the power after a few minutes the status LoRa Wi-Fi ETH the LTE will stay off so that is for a SIM card port as there's also USB-C connectivity and the uh, SIM card port slot in there so that I won't be using and to be honest I don't even know how to use that okay so that is that okay after you connected it to your uh, uh, internet port and after a while all the lamps are burning there's also a manual on this so we won't be needing that because this is fully on helium as you can see and uh, we we have a uh, different manual that is on their website i will also li leave a link in the description so you can also read that uh, first things first you're going to go to this link right here and you're going to hit enter so that's 98192.168.1.1 if that is not working you will firstly connect it even to the wi-fi to do that you'll just go here go to the wi-fi and open this network it's called gateway okay if we hit the information you will see the IP4, IPv4 address, so that is in this case with me 192.168.1.1. That is also what I have filled in here. That brought me to this uh, page. And now you can uh, press in the, pass the uh, password and username. In this case, it will be admin and the password will be password. And then you hit enter. You can also do this on your phone, just so you know. After you're logged in, you will uh, be re redirected to the status page. You can go hit network then and then interface. Here you'll be doing your next step and that is setting an IP address for your router as it doesn't do it automatically. In this case, my router settings is set to 192.168.68 point one that's my router so you have to assign a number for this device for the miner so it can be con uh, talking to the rest of your network so I did one nine two point one six eight point six eight point one five zero as in that canal that number is free in my network there's no other device that has been assigned to that number so if you're familiar with how your network works and how you can see that great you can assign a free channel if you don't know it you can also try a higher number like i did in this case i knew i don't have 150 but you can also just check it in your app or on your router settings to see if it's available for anyone that doesn't even know their uh, ip address of their router you can just go ahead and hit uh, right click on the network and internet settings then this will be opened up and 
this is the device i'm connected through wi-fi and this is my internet port that is connected to the router through a network switch and if we hit, hit properties you will see here that the ip address is of this device 192.168.68.77 so that means always the router will be number one so to clear, give a clear image on that, you saw that 192.168.68.77. If I uh, uh, replace that 77 for point 0.1 and I hit it in a browser, I will be logged in in my web browser for the router settings. Here you can log in and actually see which, which uh, 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 IP address you can assign the device. Going back to the settings, after you filled in the IP address, you can hit up save and apply after that you can go to maintainments and hit tools and we're gonna pin a, a link and that link will be milesite slash or the middle straight dot without a dot iot dot com and you're gonna click on pin and you can see here that it is sending packages and it is working after you've done that and you've seen that it's working we'll go to packet forwarder which is here which is here on the left upper corner and you won't see this last line right here you'll actually see helium like i said this is a helium device and you need to press on the pencil right here and you need to uncheck this box right here so it'll get disabled then you'll hit save and save and apply and then you can add another one which will be in this case semtech you will leave you will replace this link right here for v1.crank with double k dot io you will hit save and also enable don't forget the enable part after that you hit save and then you hit save and apply and this is how it should look like this is it after you've done all the steps i mentioned you would need to go over to the discord server of crank.io i will leave their service server link in the description so make sure you add it i will also leave my server of discord so you can join it also uh, my channel is mostly about uh, crypto miners games like grand theft auto fire sticks plugins and google tv plugins and tv make plugins so maybe you're interested in that also and in this case after you're done with it and you've added the server it will tell you the steps that you will be needing to add the miles site so we've done all those steps once it is sorted you will need to contact alvisos and he's very i'm sorry if i don't pronounce it good but uh, he helped me right away and i am going to show you that I have uh, spoken to him and he uh, responded right away and he took me to the journey. So from there on out, he will tell you what to do, uh, how to add it to your server. He will ask you for a Gmail email or a uh, connected Gmail email. So you will give him that and he will set up an account for you. After that, you can log in and you can make a password it doesn't need to be a 12 word password you can choose whatever i chose for a 12 word password just to be secured don't lose that password uh and after that he will instruct you exactly what to do he will even send you the kda uh, fees for the first setup and then you'll be up and running within 30 minutes so it's that easy folks uh i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or feedback leave please leave them in the comment section and don't forget to smash the like button and also hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel uh thank you for watching and goodbye